Are you dealing with problems such as recording Windows 10 store application gameplay with Shadowplay? Are you dealing with problems such as stuttering and shit while watching the playback of your Windows 10 store application Shadowplay gameplay? Are you dealing with audio synchronization problems with Shadowplay period when you go in to edit the video such as in Vegas Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro? Well, I may have the solution for you, and this solution has been working for me for about two days. <laughs> but it's really, really easy, and it's worth a try if you're having any of those problems going on while recording with Shadowplay. All right, so first thing you're going to do is go into the Xbox application that's built into your Windows 10 platform. Yes, the Xbox application. Yours may be in the start menu. I have mine pinned to my uh, toolbar so for easy access and shit. So go ahead and open that wherever it may be. And after that's booted up, make sure you go down to the left side of the screen, all the way down to the bottom, where you see that gear, click that, that's the settings tab, and then click game DVR tab right here at the top. Now by default, this is going to be set to on. They had it all on for me, including the background recording. Now what this causes is confliction between it and shadow play, which is not good. And I think, personally, it is what causes stuttering and stuff when recording Windows 10 store application platform games such as Gears of War 4 and Forza Horizon 3. So you're going to want to turn this off. Don't just turn this off. Turn the whole shit off. You don't need it on if you're using any other external recorder such as Shadowplay or Merlis Action or Fraps or OBS or whatever. Just make sure that shit is off. It's going to be a benefit. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is configure Shadowplay. And what you want to do is hit Alt-Z, and that brings up Shadowplay's configuration. Now here you can edit everything up, you know, set up your mic, webcam, or change your settings up, all that jazz. What you want is to have Instant Replay off before doing anything. Make sure that's set off because you can't customize your quality control with that on, because technically it's recording in the background at all times. Now, after that's off, go into Customize, and then you'll bring up your quality control. Now I have mine set to custom because, you know, I like my shit custom. Usually this is going to be set to end game by default. And this is where the problem lies because end game, it looks nice. It gives you all this bitrate room up to 130. But most of this isn't going to matter, especially if you're gaming at 1440p or 1080. Usually it's going to hover anywhere between 40 and 50 on the bitrate. And that is that. So the rest of this is really for really high resolutions and stuff. And half the time it doesn't really matter as much during that. So anywhere between 40 and 50 is what we're going to target. What I do is I lock my resolution also to 1080p. Now you don't have to be gaming at 1080p uh, and recording at 1080p at the same time. You can record, record at a different resolution. You can game at a different resolution. They can interchange. It doesn't matter. But for what I do, I set the resolution to 1080p, 60 frames, and I set my bit rate to 50. And the reason why we deal with a lot of audio synchronization problems is because Shadowplay records in variable instead of constant, where with constant, it's easy to edit because the audio stays in sync the whole while there and it's locked to a certain bit rate. Now with this, it fluctuates as you record. Now, limiting the bit rate and where it can go and all that stuff makes it a lot easier to keep audio in sync and the resolution also makes it easier to where it doesn't have to do more work than it should while recording. So we set it up like that and we save that baby. All right, so we got Gears of War 4 all booted up, and I forgot to mention that I'm recording in desktop mode. That's the only way you can really record a Windows 10 store application game because it won't allow you to record it in game mode for whatever reason, DRM reason most likely. But the reason why I brought this up is because I noticed some people deal with the fact that they cannot see their status indicator when they have Shadowplay running on a Windows 10 store application game. For some reason, I can now. I don't know what happened over the course of the past few days, an update or whatever, but if you can't, uh, in order to see that you're recording, basically what you're gonna have to do is go up until the little bar pops up on, at the top. And once that pops up, you're gonna minimize it and then start your recording and then get back into the game and then it should be recording. Luckily, my status indicator pops up over the game. You can't see it because you can't see Shadow Plays a status indicator with any recorder at all unless you just use your phone and record the screen it doesn't pop up in video but that is that for anybody having that problem 
And what you need to do, and I would do in this video, but it would take way too long and it would make for a very, very long video, is test this out by recording a gameplay of 20 to 30 minutes to make sure all the kinks are worked out, to make sure everything looks clean and make sure your audio stays in sync all the way through. For me, it worked perfectly. I can now do full let's plays without having to use programs such as Handbrake to force the variable bit rate to constant. And it saves plenty of time and plenty of stress of going through and editing these shadow play video videos. Now, if you need a reference for how this worked for me, check out my last video that I uploaded where I was playing Gears of War 4 Horde mode. And then that video contains portions from a one hour and 30 minute clip that I had recorded. And through that entire clip, I had no audio synchronization problems. I had no stuttering problems. So if it works for you, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you need help with anything, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is your world. Do whatever you want to do. I'm I Doc Life, and I'm out. Peace. Ah, oh, his body part got in my way. Shit. Let me see if I can get you up. Oh, fuck. He's right there. Bitch, get off. Got you. I, oh, come on. Pick me up. Fuck. Oh man, oh, oh bruh, right here, bruh. Thank you. The same dude that saved me last time. Even